From redstone sprinklers to grow your crops to fusion ore for powerful pickaxes. Heck, we've even got boats with TNT inside. Seriously, why hasn't this been a thing yet? It's another comments to crafting, members edition, using only comments from our log.zip channel members. Join today to see your hilarious comments turned into actual Minecraft updates. All right, shouts to Cable and Waz, and we begin with number one, the sprinkler. This one was suggested by Warthog Queen 343 Guilty spark is charged. Look guys, all I'm saying is the world needs an easier way for you to constantly hydrate your crops, or in this case, your empty tilled land. But don't worry, we'll fix that up right now. To make the sprinkler, you're gonna need bone meal, water bucket, bone block, two iron ingots, and a diamond so you can make yourself the sprinkler. And the object is simple enough, you can place it in the world and it will speed up crop growth. So we're gonna place it right here. We already have some water placed and that's going to allow it to grow even faster. But check this out. We're gonna place a whole bunch of carrots, bunch of potatoes, some wheat all around. And you're gonna to start to notice something very, very interesting indeed. Quickened growth cycles for any and all nearby crops that fall within the sprinkler's area of influence. I mean, really, look at this. Lovely. We can see all of the crops nearby growing around us instantly. That's right. Get a load of this ultimate cinematic shot. You'll be a farmer in no time. Green thumbs, ahoy. Now, if you try and go too far out of this area, what you'll come to find is that you're not necessarily going to have the same chance of crop growth way out here, but if your crops are hydrated in a close enough area, you're gonna see that things start to speed up extremely quickly. So grab one of these for your automated farms and you'll thank yourself later. To get your sprinkler back, just break the block underneath and it will appear right there. We move on to recipe number two, the structure compass. This little doohickey was suggested by Mick Kelly, and it's gonna point you towards the nearest structure you can find in game. Very useful. Allow me to demonstrate. First things first, we'll need to make it. You'll need four diamonds and one redstone dust instead of four iron, and then you'll have your structure compass handy. So what does it do exactly? Well, uh, it will point, as I said, to the nearest structure nearby. A structure could be anything. It could be another fortress, a stronghold, or it could be something potentially even greater. So you'll notice if we walk this way, we suddenly don't see the particles anymore. You'll always want to walk in the direction the particles are facing. No, it's not the sheep. It didn't find the sheep. Get out of my way. It didn't find the sheep. Ooh, hey! You've been smuggling sprinklers? I'm on to you. Bad boy. Anyways, it looks like it's taking us near the beach. Maybe we've got some buried treasure nearby. Hard to say. Well, where'd it go? Ooh. Ooh, it's headed towards the ground. Wait a second. Could it be? Does that mean? I think, guys, we may just... Yes! Buried treasure. Ingots. Gold. Diamonds. Uh, fish. And tint. Oh, I love tint. I mean, the device practically already paid for itself, so I highly recommend you make one for your worlds. You're gonna not miss the diamonds, I promise. Alrighty, next up is number three, the mob repellent. Suggested by Team Prime Knockout. This one's a ton of fun. I'll show you in a second. For now, here's how you make it. Four diamonds and a whole mess of mob heads placed how you please to get your mob repellent. Now, if you have your mob repellent on you in your inventory, mobs will, quote unquote, <laughs> fly away. Let me demonstrate. Check it out, 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 check it out. Yo, stupid. Oh, did y'all want some of me? Nah, you can't. Oh, poor little guy. They can't reach me. This reminds me of that funny gif I've seen when someone's like walking through a crowd and everyone around them is constantly being pushed away. Kind of acting as an anti-magnet. They literally can't do anything, I, <laughs> of course, to reach me. Other than getting stuck in a block corner, there's no amount of walking they can do towards me that's going to allow them anywhere nearby. Let's go ahead and drop down from above them and see what happens. Yo, oh, wow, worst day. Wow. Sorry guys, you can't have my signature. You're just not important enough. I don't know. Normally I charge for those things. <laughs> just kidding. Unless I could, would y'all buy a signature? Okay, what were to happen if I summoned a creeper right on top of me? Ah. Yeah, <laughs> whoa, the best day of my life. None of them can reach me. Yo, we just summoned so many creepers. Look, it's a party now. What's good, boys? Oh, were y'all trying to blow up or something? Nah, they're like, nah, I'm good. Oh boy, that one got a little bit too close for comfort. Yeah, so 
This is like a simulator for if you don't wear deodorant. So come on guys, you stink. Fix it. Now it said skeletons aren't a good one to use it for. I wonder why, oh. I ain't, oh, cause the, right. So it still works on them. They just have a whole bunch of arrows that they're gonna start firing off at each other. Or me, you know, one of the two. Yeah, it's probably for the best. Hey, I got an idea. Why don't we try and actually force one of these creepers to blow up on us? Get it, get it, get it! I, I can't reach! All right, buddy, it's just you and me. Clear the way, I've got a video to make. Recipe number four, redstone transmitter and receiver. This contraption was suggested by it's Jacob. What's good, Jacob? There's two different recipes involved here. In order to make the redstone receiver, you're going to need four iron ingots, two redstone dust, and one diamond. But if you wanted to make the transmitter, you're gonna need four iron ingots, two diamonds, and one redstone torch. You'll also need some repeaters, but from there, you'll place the repeater in the direction you want the signal to take effect. Sneak right click onto the repeater using your lovely little receiver, and you'll be ready to go once you throw the transmitter right on top of it. So, now that this has been thrown right on top, what you'll see in just a moment here is that we can begin to transmit power. On right click, it will actually toggle this different power source. Boom! 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 Yes, you can right click and it will also cause it to continuously pulse. Now you can actually rebind your transmitter to various different receiver areas by again just throwing it wherever you want. So now it works for this one and no longer for the one over here. Depending on the tick delay of your repeater, you can actually change how long the transmitter and receiver stays powered for with that pulse there. So notice how long it currently stays. Notice when it's no delay, it's basically the smallest little pulse in the world. So sad, your pulse is so small. But the beauty of this device truly, my friends, is the fact that you now have access to wireless redstone. We're gonna go ahead and link our transmitter over here to this deceiver, deceiver I say, <laughs> receiver device. So we'll actually need to place down the receiver first. So go ahead and sneak, right click, put you right on air. Yeah, then throw the transmitter right on top there. They are now linked. And with a simple right click, boom. We have instantaneous open and closing doors at a moment's notice. Doesn't matter where we're standing, we can activate them as often or as not often as we want. Yo, let's try and break it. Yo, 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 oh, best day of my life. It's actually keeping up, I'm quite impressed. Next up is the totem of unbreaking. This item was suggested by Max Weber. What's good, Weber family? Yo, check out this recipe right here. You're gonna need one diamond, four gold ingots, and four iron ingots to make your totem unbreaking, but you'll be happy you did. Check out my armor down here. Most of it is almost completely broken. We're gonna wear it right now. Hold our totem unbreakings in hand, which do stack, by the way, and get a load of this. We will slowly lose them. See, we just lost one, and look, our helmet was completely repaired. Go ahead and step right back on in there, and boom! Chest plate, completely repaired. Oh, hold on, I'm hungry. And I think you get the idea, my friends, with another break causing our leggings to go, and naturally getting rid of our last totem to completely repair our full set of armor. Beautiful. Still hungry, though. Number six is the chorus helmet. The boy de rich tech. He suggested this one. <laughs> Said that weird, I'm sorry. Anyways, here's the recipe for it. You'll need a diamond helmet as well as five chorus fruit to make a chorus helmet. Now, this little puppy will actually teleport you away from harm's way when you are under two hearts. The effect will recharge, though, and it will take 30 seconds for you to get that full recharge. Oh, oops, I forgot I still got the mob repellent on me. Come here, baby, give me a hug. Daddy wants some, mm-hmm. I'll probably take off the rest of this to be perfectly honest. Okay, so in due course, we will shortly be underneath two hearts of damage, and look at that, instantly teleported. Well, either at or under two hearts. Now, it is a random teleportation, but the point is, it should keep you mostly safe from any nearby mobs that wanna kill you. Now, if you don't wait 30 seconds, notice we didn't get teleported again. But if my math is right, and I don't know if it is, we should be able to teleport. Yes, again. <laughs> oh God, she's right there. E Recipe number seven, the house block. TM, suggested by Happy Wheels One. Minecraft, wow, you are the Minecraft? It is an honor to meet you. In my hand sits the world's smallest Minecraft house. Yes, look at you, adorable. Well, somewhat. Now, we've done a couple of these before, so needless to say, oh. Oh yeah, I forgot to have the mob repellent on me. <laughs> Needless to say, you've probably seen something like this on the channel once before, but hey, 
You could always use more instant houses. Fan flipping fantastic. All it takes is a right click and you got houses Ein, all over the place. Or in this case, you're inside said house. To make it, you'll need two oak planks, three oak logs, three cobblestone, one glass for your house block, TM. Yo, I just want to go to town on this house. Townhouse. <laughs> you get it? Oh my gosh. Yo, I'm having a field day. Welcome to the neighborhood, baby. Look at that. Instantaneous. One, two, three, four, five, seven houses. Seven. That's my favorite number. I get a house for the sheep. Get in the house. Oh, perfect. I want to say hi to him. Hey, Mr. Sh what are you doing down there? That's not how beds work. What if I put a house in my house? Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, hold on. I'll be right back. Okay, I want to see what the outside looks like now. Let me see. Oh my gosh! <laughs> wow, talk about a high rise. Are there things underneath? Nah, it's all deleted. Whatever. Recipe number eight. Dirty slash derpy TNT. Suggested by member Alex Gao. I mean, they've all been members, by the way. <laughs> by the way, have you joined yet? It's only $5 a month, and you can turn your content into actual updates, so join today. Anyways, here's what you need to make the derpy TNT slash the dirty TNT. Five gunpowder, four dirt for your dirty TNT. Seriously, guys, it's $5. Just do it. <laughs> I'm not a sellout. Well, I'm a little bit of one. I got kids to feed! Now, upon placing, this dirty TNT will instantly light, and then it will blow up into a lovely dirt house. Kind of like that. Kind of like that it instantly lights. Does that mean we can... Can we just make an ultimate? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Whoa, the best. Oh my gosh. Can we hang outside? What is it just... What? Why? I don't understand. You're supposed to be a house. Now you're just dirt. Is it literally just dirt? I thought it was supposed to like... Well... Ooh, I got an idea. What's up, sheep? Yo! Get back here! Why are you running? Get in Can we use it underwater? That would be cool. Can we, can we, that? No. So sad. Only works on land. You've won this time, water sheep. But next time. Well, there's no next time. That's it. Recipe number nine, the death compass. Suggested by my girl Ksenia, aka Kvugly Heart. Did I get it this time? You'll need four iron ingots and one totem of undying for your death compass. Now, it's not particularly useful to keep on you since it's not gonna help you because you're, you know, alive. <laughs> Dumb. What do you think? Come on, use your noggin. So we'll just leave you right here for now and we'll press this button over here to kill ourselves. Yeah. But now we got this handy right here. Another death compass. And so what does it do? Well, similar to the structure compass, it's going to have a nice little particle effect that's going to take us exactly to where our most recent death was. As we walk through and see the high rise behind us, I, I hit a wall. <laughs> I'm not too bright, guys. I don't know what to say. You can see we're slowly approaching the area we died from before. You're going to notice that the particles start to shift leftwards. It literally takes us to right where we died. You see? Where we go? The particle point is right there. Wow. Useful. No, actually useful. Imagine if you die in a cave and you have this thing. It's going to take you right back to all of your items. This is a must-have. Good job, Ksenia. Recipe number 10, Fusion Ore. Suggested by Jacob Fleming. In order to get the items needed for this special ore, we're going to need to mine all these different ores. So we'll need Silk Touch to do that. We've got that right here. Silk Touch all over, baby. Beautiful. Not only do we need all these different ore types, but you'll also need to get your hands on some obsidian. And placing them all together will get you exactly what you hoped for. The fusion ore. Ooh, fancy boy. Check it out. All the different faces on it are different depending on where you look. Now, smelting fusion ore works a little bit differently than your normal ore types. You need to throw it directly into lava in order to smelt it. And with that, we just got ourselves a fusion ingot. But hold on. That was a lot of fun. I'm going to keep... Yeah. Oh, well, we lost that one. <laughs> Jeez, you gotta be a little bit careful about it, huh? Okay. Now you can take these fusion ingots, combine them with some sticks, and make yourself a fusion pickaxe, which is an amazing pickaxe indeed. Essentially, you can mine instantly with it, and it's unbreakable. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Go to town on him, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Love it. Doesn't work the same for non-stone, but it does work the same for... Don't mind you. 
Oh, oops, got a little trigger happy. <laughs> Recipe number 11, the crossbow scope. Suggested by Fallen9733. You'll just need a crossbow, two iron ingots, and a glass to make your crossbow with a scope. This one, my friends, is simple enough. It simply zooms in when you have an arrow drawn. So check it out, boom, bam. Oh, well, I'm just terrible aim still. <laughs> oh my gosh, really gonna miss that too? There we go, third time's a charm. That is what they say, they do say that. Okay, well, look guys, I, I gotta work on my aim. I, uh, I don't know. To, oh gosh! I tell you, what, I feel confident about this one. <gasps> Yeet! What? I know I hit that. Yeet! I a little lower, maybe. What? I don't even know what to say. Thank you. Yay! I'm happy now. No one make fun of me, or I'll block you. <laughs> Seriously. Recipe number. I see why you didn't want me to mind that. Recipe number twelve is TNT boats. Suggested by Lori Plumley or Plumley. Sorry, Laura, I forgot. This one's awesome. Boat plus TNT. Boat TNT. Okay, place it on in there. Look at you. Um, whoa. <laughs> Someone gets nervous when they're on camera, huh? Yeah. This is quite possibly the greatest invention man has ever seen. And woman. And whatever else. Oh, look, I can join it. <gasps> oh, I'm so happy right now. I didn't know I could bring it with me. Oh, wow. Happy day. Yo, best day of my life. Hey, I gotta say, this calls for celebration. Oh, it didn't work. Oh, there it is. Here, let's get a better view of it. Yeah, ha, 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 ha. Boom. <laughs> awesome. This would be a fun mini game to play with your friends. Boat Wars. Just go to town. Yes. Try and make it to the edge of the river while you're trying to blow up your other friends. I could totally see this being like a real thing. This would be the best day of my life. <laughs> Whoa, and look, they're dancing. New best friend alert. I'm gonna let them hang out. 13 is the Kevlar vest. Wow, this one was suggested by a doctor? Well, uh, kind of. Sorry, Dr. Adams. We reserve the right to get as close as possible to your recipe suggestions. In this case, you're gonna need six iron ingots and two string to make your Kevlar vest, which provides you no damage from projectiles. Not bad. Seriously, immunity from range attacks? Yo, what up, stupid? Catch it on fire again, I see, huh? Oh, well, it still hit me, but look. Notice I'm not taking any damage for my troubles. Look at him. They're the worst. They can't even get close to me because I have my mob repellent on still. Number 14, the totem of undying sword. Max Weber back at it again. Grab two totems of undying and a stick. There you got your totem sword. See, I like this. This is a good two in one. It's literally a totem of undying and an iron sword combined. All right, with the mob repellent, I get it. So you can use it to attack nearby mobs. I and see, look, wow. We're so strong, guys. We are so strong. And then, if we were to somehow, oh, you know, thought I was gonna press the button, huh? Didn't you? Die! Instead, the sword saves us. So, so that's, that's pretty cool. I'm getting my mob repellent back. And finally, number 15, redstone apple. Suggested by Androctonus Man. Clearly not a fan of Dr. Adams. You just need one apple and eight redstone dust so that you can keep Dr. Adams away. Redstone apple alert, big boy. Yo, kind of looks delicious. Upon eating this apple, you'll be given a special effect. For one minute or so, you'll be able to power it nearby redstone objects. Look at this, walk over some dust and let it all happen. And it will actually keep them permanently powered. And by permanently, I mean for not too long. You just, you know, for, 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 well, you guys can see. I don't know. I'm not good at redstone. Okay, what do you want? Mumbo Jumbo? You check it, man. Just leave me alone. Hey, a big shout out to all of our Log.Zip channel members for their comments to crafting suggestions today. Join today so you can be a part of the next member's comments to crafting. We'll see you later. Yo, shouts out to Redstone Effect.